Um, okay, so the first one I'm going to read is called Preheat to 220. I hate the amount of times I've forced myself to write about the night. In order to create something beautiful, in order to justify my writing at all. Still, I find myself begrudging the sun for being so obvious. The gratification lies in the graveness of the dark. I hear the trees applauding me, only for bringing the wind. And I give the clouds something new to dampen, and in turn, they show me pinprick windows into infinity. The night lets me feed her gracious silence when I rehearse standing up and speaking my mind. I shadow myself upon the underside of the world's eyelid, fearless. I am seen. I must be. For there is nothing to compete with. I am seen. I am, if only by myself. The darker half of the day and I have seemed to struck some sort of deal. We both show each other to the other half of us that neither of us can see. Um, this one is called On the Roof of the Music Block. When you start to struggle late at night about something to write, look up. Draw lines between the stars with your mind. Allow yourself to wonder. Wander along those celestial roads and under the sequined shawl of night. Remember that great volumes have been written about blades of grass. When the fire burns in your stomach, don't shoot it from your pen in fear that it will die because it will and let it, but consider the punctuation of ashes left and the charred glyphs on the walls of your organs, they are worth writing about too. When the words are on paper, let them ferment in the spine-bound barrel and even if they taste of cheap beer rather than cognac, the feeling of drunk, or the feeling of being drunk is the same. Um, this is my last one. It's called approximately 65 millimeters. The blood. Oh, shit, that's a bad start. <laughs> <laughs> my blood pulps at the thought of your disdain. Stagnant breaths as my fingernail thoughts caress your chalkboard silence. The taste of lost sleep is similar to whiskey or poetry, but the shot of spirit fire makes you sick and you prefer your words medium well done. I carve my days into the shape of your smile using a blunt all of hope but still hope. I open my chest and let my ribs lay bare easy pickings in hope you find something you might like. My eyes are closed but it feels like your cloud soft fingers are tying a bow with my intestines and branding a thumbprint on my lung. Thank you. <laughs>